FOTA, the Formula One Teams Association, has banned KERS, the Kinetic Energy Recovery System, and I say good riddance. Max wanted it so that he could pose as the statesman doing his part to save the planet. But you may have noticed that recent Formula One news has been more about scandals, not esoteric technology. Furthermore, it was an ill-timed idea, brutally expensive when the sport was frantically headed the other way, toward cutting costs, not increasing them. On the track, Kurz was supposed to add drama to the show by making passing as simple as pushing your Kurz button and feeling that extra 80 horsepower of stored energy shoot you by your opponent. Instead, it's been most effective as a defensive weapon, fending off attacks from behind. A well-driven Kurz car is like a wall across the track. Kurz was supposed to be worth up to six-tenths of a second per lap, but it turned out that what you gained on the straight, you lost in the turns. Kurz units, which couldn't be moved, took the place of ballast you badly needed to shift around the chassis to get the best balance. It's significant that neither Braun nor Red Bull, the season's two top teams, used Kurz. Of the teams that did, BMW, Sauber, and Renault have given it up, leaving only Ferrari and McLaren still running the system, and even they are willing to call it quits. So Kurz is destined to be a footnote in the history of Formula One. But let's not forget its one glorious moment at Spa, when Kimi Raikkonen's Ferrari powered past the curless Force India of Giancarlo Fisichella to take a lead which Kurz enabled him to defend. But it was too little, too late, and Kurz, for the moment, is kerput.